Good morning everyone out there in Facebook land. Hope everyone is doing well. It's a very beautiful morning out there. The sun is shining. Make sure you get out and get some of that natural vitamin D. It's very important. It boosts the immune system. I took a day off yesterday. And yesterday was a very, very important day. So it's Women's History Month. And you know me, I don't believe in these days, these months, these year. I deal with round the clock, 365. So the day recognized yesterday was Equal Pay Day. That was the recognition for yesterday. And as I said, since I missed out doing my video, I'm catching up, but I'm not even catching up because I recognize Equal Pay 365. I recognize Women's History 365 is not a month and Equal Pay should not be a day. It should be around the clock. And I'm going to get into the statistics and I'm going to use some images to bring out the points I want to address as they relate to Equal Pay. And as I say that, I am sharing, let me share, you know, my attire because it's all part of the game. I'm wearing green this morning because I'm talking about green. I'm talking about money. But there is also a group here in our city. They have a page called Spending Black Dollars Matter. So it's not only green dollars. There's black dollars out there, women. Okay. So here's what I'm wearing this morning. Women balancing the world. And we can do a lot to improve the position of women in our nation as far as it relates to that pocketbook, to the paycheck. And we have made a little stride. I'm going to acknowledge it. Because when I show you my graphic or my chart, then I will take you back a little to say, a few years ago, it was maybe four more pennies. Okay, so here is where I'm going to start with equal pay day 365. Okay, here's my chart. Showing the mighty dollar, the dollar bill. And we're talking about women. Now, let's compare, okay? At this time in our history, for every dollar that a man makes, a woman is only making 82 cents. So there we go. The men get a dollar, the women get 82 cents. Uh, just a few years ago, it was 78 cents. So if you do your math here, we went up by four cents. Uh, let me just be very personal with that. The needle went up four cents. So whereas maybe two, three years ago, and I know it's in that time frame, um, for every dollar a man made, women, a woman, was getting eight, um, 78 cents. <laughs> went up to 82 cents, come on. We want to break the bar of the inequality, the inequity. And I'm speaking from the perspective as a former corporate manager. And I sat in those conference rooms when it was time for, we used to call it merit increase. And I saw it up front and close. I had to nip it and had to address it in a very assertive way. My staff reporting to me, and, and we're not only talking about the pay disparity, we're talking about discrimination as a whole when it comes to pay and when it comes to women in particular. So, for example, I recall when I worked in the corporate industry, it was time for that marriage, marriage pay. And 
a loyal, hardworking black woman who was um, on my staff. She never missed a day. She was always the first one on the job. She never goofed off. She took her job serious. She gave 150%. And when, it, when her name came up, she was going to get a little pittance, uh, a very minimal merit increase. And I raised, I wouldn't say I raised hell, but close to that. Uh, it was not justifiable because she was being discriminated against, being black and being a woman. She was only going to get a very tiny increase. And I stood up. Let me stand up for this one. Huh. Let me stand up against discrimination in pay. And if you're just joining me, thank you very much. Yesterday was recognized as equal pay day and there's a history behind it. I was not in the gallery, so I missed out on doing my video. And I'm doing it this morning because equal pay day should not be a day. Equal pay, they should be around the clock, 365. And I am putting a personal face on it, talking about my experience in corporate America as a manager and seeing the inequality, the inequity, and seeing the blatant discrimination against African Americans when it came to giving them uh, the, what they were due on their pay. So thank you for joining. I think I see my friend out there. Looks like Karen, is that Karen? Okay, welcome. I don't want anyone to miss out. So let me go back to my little chart here. I am showing the disparity in income for women versus men. We have made a few inches advance a little but listen, we're not even close. The good old boys network still control the pocket book, still dictate what they should get. So, whereas maybe three, four years ago, for every dollar that men made, women made, 80, um, then it was 78 cents. And if you subtract 78 from 82, you're talking about four pennies. Four pennies. So the, um, the ratio of what men are getting versus women went up four cents. Four cents. Yeah, four pennies from where it was to where it is now. So the fact that women are now getting 82, Two cents to every dollar the man made. It is still abhorrent. It is unacceptable. And we should not take it. And every woman out there, whether or not you're getting a good salary, it should be your cause. We, should, we are all part of this. Equal pay for women should be a cause for every woman out there. And that is why, again, we need more women in leadership position. Back off my jacket. Women balancing the world. We need more women to balance the world of inequity in pay for women. If we had more women at the helm in corporate America, in those boardrooms, in those treasury managing the money, women would be getting a better deal. And this is worldwide, it's not just America. The inequality, the inequity, the discrimination is rife around the world. And we can do something about it. The person who is named for making this day, that is the 24th of March, recognized. Yes, yeah, she saw it. She saw it and she, she stood up. So much so, we are recognizing Equal Pay Day, March the 24th. Equal Pay Day, for me, 365.
Okay. Let's go on to some more images now. Talking about equality. If you did not watch my video on Tuesday, when I launched talking about women's history and talking about my own experience. This piece is titled Women Reaching for the Stars. And all women have the same desire to reach for the stars, whether they're red, yellow, black, white, or brown. And you notice this woman is actually standing on top of the, um, the table with the computer. I made it dramatic that much. This painting has been elevated. The title has been enhanced. The title is now The Black Woman Behind the Purple Chair. The Black Woman Behind the Purple Chair. And I was that black woman working in corporate America. Yes, I didn't advance as I should. It took me 11 of 12 years to move up the ladder to be a manager at the first level. Yeah, but I stood up. Yeah, I stood up. I didn't sit in that chair. I was always advocating for my own rights, reaching for the stars. So, as a businesswoman, I believe in equity. I believe in rewarding people for their work. Last week I had an interesting, uh, what should I say, experience in my gallery with a worker. She works with me part-time. She started out as an intern from the city and then two years ago I hired her to be a part-time worker. And last week She's very smart, uses a lot of initiative. So I am very good with my brushes and my paints, my canvas. I'm not extraordinarily good with technology. Yeah, certain things, well, like I'm a, I'm a guru on social media. I am good on social media. But I wanted to advance my business by using QR codes. That's the fad out there, no QR codes. So my worker did a little Google or research and within, I would say within 10 minutes, she whipped it up. She had it down pat, providing a QR code for my, actually two. She provided a QR code for my gallery, which is online. And if you look at my recent posts, you will see that I am now making it easier for you to get to the gallery, to the online gallery. I'm providing you with a QR code. So here we go. If you want to go to the fake gallery online, go to my page and where I posted the images about women and other images, as all my recent posts, just scroll through and you'll get the QR code. This one is for LafayetteGallery.com. This morning I did put that on the screen. So that gallery online carries my original paintings, my limited edition prints, and my book. I'm a writer. Oh yeah, if you didn't know that. Local author. I authored this book titled Catalog of Selected Works and writings and it carries or contains the same image I'm showing you now you can read the stories behind them see carries those stories and this is on my website at that www.lafaygallery.com or if you scan the barcode Scan the barcode on my website. It will take you to the fake gallery. And that's where you could get my book. And this is very enlightening. I would highly recommend 
that young people be provided with stories, with um, information about diversity. Last evening, I attended a great event. Yes, the monthly focus at the neighborhood, at the Bellevue, the Bellevue Community Center. And it was so great. And I think I was so very impressed with, it's a theater, they have their own theater. And if you saw a picture, actually my profile picture will show the kids or show the theater. And the, the young people had a great time going on stage and presenting about women. It was about women's history. So they were presenting and they did a phenomenal job. And I applauded them. Uh, and what I noticed is the social skills, how savvy they were. I came in and a young youth, a, a young boy, welcomed me. There were metal chairs. He put me in a couch to sit and periodically he would come back and check on me. How are you doing? And throughout the evening and then at the end of the, the performance, did you enjoy? I was flabbergasted. Yes. And I thank the staff for the training that they are giving our young people. The, those kids are stage savvy, managing the stage, going up and recite, uh, doing their performances or whatever they're presenting with high level of confidence. And they're good in technology and they're good in the soft skills. And in the age of technology, we have lost a lot of the soft skills. Many youth out there, unfortunately, can't put a good sentence together now. So we, we need to do something about that to develop our young people. Scott Michaels, M-I-C-H-E-L-S, first name Scott. He's a guy at that place. Yes, and he does a phenomenal job. I was interviewed by Sharon Baker, an extraordinary woman. And I was able, and the young people in the audience, they were at rapt attention. Also gave two scholarships for two young girls, ages 10 to 16, to come to the Fake Gallery during Women's History Month and paint for free. Not only are they going to paint, I am going to be giving them a lifelong education empowering them how to reach for the stars how to be the next great women so when the next history books are written i said to them when the next history books are written you could be in those books and you can reach for the stars and even if you don't get there you land on the moon so i believe in empowering young people. For those who are just joining me, welcome and thank you for joining. And the subject today is green. We're talking money. Green and black, there's black money too. Huh. Go to that page that says spending black dollars matter. They talk about the importance of the black dollars that um, it is three, the con contribution of African American and other minorities or spending power amounts to 3.9 trillion as in trillion dollars so don't underestimate the power of the black dollar and the green dollar okay yeah yeah i forget dramatic so i'm wearing my shirt own brand, my own brand women balancing the world and in a moment i will and the motivational part of my videos. You know, I come on these videos, a lot of people love to come on because they get inspired. Yes, I'm here to inspire you, but I'm here as a black woman owned business and my, my real job 
is not to inspire you. My real job is to get you to purchase art, to acquire wealth. We're not asking anybody to donate anything here. I have the goods. I have the wealth here in this gallery. 227 North Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware. And online, by clicking on one of those two links, I have two websites online. One with a blue QR code. And I'll tell you what that is, what distinguishes the blue from the black. If you want to purchase my art online, there is a blue QR code. And if you're passing my place, I'm going to be having a big one put on the window. You can even stay out outside and scan that code. Scan the QR code. It takes you to lafakegallery.com online. If you want to purchase my products, like, like the T-shirts, limited edition prints, mugs, etc., and I will fill in the etc. in a moment. Then you will click, not click, you will scan that blue QR code and this takes you to a website that I contract with to make my products from my art. The website is fineartamerica.com. I provided you with a link this morning so you can go right now to that link. Any of those two links and you can go there to make your purchases. But let me go back to this symbolic work of art. And if you're just joining me, and you, um, I renamed or I added a new component to this masterful, iconic painting titled <coughs> Women Reaching for the Stars, which grew out of my corporate experience of inequality. And I retitled it it's now the black woman behind the purple chair. The chair that I was provided with to sit in when I went to corporate America. That's exactly how that chair looked. So watch me not sitting, reaching for the stars. So here's a t-shirt. I have a few of these in the gallery. Medium, large, extra large. This one is a large, beautiful. It's Women's History Month. The purpose of my videos is not to inspire you, as I said. I love, I love the inspiration, and you love it too. I want you to purchase. What do you own for Women's History Month? And I see one of my artist friends out there. I am advocating for all women artists. Purchase their products. There goes Regina Katz out there. She's an artist, too, a great artist. I love her pieces with the shape of the heart. I love those pieces. She exhibited in this gallery a few years ago. So support women. Okay. So you, you don't want the original painting or you feel you cannot afford it. How about a mug? This is not your ordinary mug. Number one is 15 ounces. And it has my signature. It's signed by the artist. So th this is a like a hair loop. This is something you could leave on your estate for a child. And here we go. I make it even more affordable. Look at that mini print. Framed. Beautifully framed. That's all it costs. That's pocket change. That's a framed 8 and a half, 11 by 11. And it's ready to be hung. And that's all it costs. These are available here at the gallery. And I will um, show you more. The shirt I'm wearing. These are, yeah, this is an extra large. I have a medium. I have them in different sizes. And I have not just shirts. Look, look at this. That tote bag. Beautiful tote bag that goes with it. And for the women reaching for the stars. Look at this. Look at this elegant tote bag. Very huge. If you're traveling, it carries a lot. So there we go, that's two tote bags right there. And that website, Fine Art America, there are approximately 18 images of my work. When you go there, you can pick the image you like and get your customized products. And it's flexible, you can even change the dimensions on it. You can play around with it. It's Women's History Month, but I am going back to February. 
because this image is symbolic. That is Harriet Tubman, my Cheryl. And she, collabor she collaborated with Thomas Garrett. This is history personified diversity. A black woman and a Caucasian Quaker man here in the state. This is a map of the state of Delaware. This is more than art, guys. This is history signed by the artists. Thomas Garrett and Harriet Tubman were station masters in the Underground Railroad Movement, and we had stations right here in the city of Wilmington. Thomas Garrett lived on Fifth Street. It's a shame they, they did not preserve his home. You know, they took it down. But that, that, that's history. What do you have to recognize women's history? What do you have to recognize black history? We talk the talk. Let's walk the talk and collect work. Work the board. What am I? Um, this came out of the social justice movement of 2020. You remember that? May, the George Floyd issue. You remember that? When the chants were all around the world, no justice, which then they were talking about N-O justice, N-O peace. Well, I made it K-N-O-W. No justice, no peace. And I have it right here. I have it in t-shirts and I have this beautiful carry-on purse. If you're traveling, you put all your um, passport and your belongings and you have that shirt and you have the, the carry-on purse. Another famous image. That one, it takes a village. And it is Women's History Month. I would be remiss if I don't show the work of the other women exhibiting in Lafayette Gallery. This is a three women exhibition showing for the month of March. And the, the person here is Joe Redbird, my friend. A curator, gallery cur curator extraordinaire. She curated uh, all the museums around the city. Look at those brilliant acrylic works of art in acrylic. And some of them are in oil on board. They are magnificent. And she, you, her style revolves around using a tree to tell a story. Look at that piece. You remember that? Who remembers the hula hoop? Huh? Look at that beautiful... These are available, guys. Well, the star of the Women's History Month show was none other than an 18-year-old youth that I mentored. I mentored her from June of last year to January. And in November, for Small Business Saturday, I made her an entrepreneur. I told her, let's make... This is a powerful powerful piece. Let's make limited edition prints of this image and no cars and I'll give you a table no charge in my gallery and you sell it. And she sold out. That's her right here. Her name is Deborah Tate. 18 years old. Now an emerging artist entrepreneur. Look at the works of art. All, all along. Actually I used to have five women. This year I narrowed it to three so I could give her enough space. Those are her works and we took on various themes. That's about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this is from a conference she attended, Girls Can Do Anything. And last evening, when I was at that event, I empowered the girls in the audience with the, with the, the, the theme, Girls Can Do Anything. Are we empowering our young girls out there? Are we mentoring them? This is Deborah's work all along this wall. As far as your eyes can see, it's her work. The exhibition comes down, unfortunately, you know, because I have to, to make way for the new exhibition. So this exhibition comes down on the 26th, which is, at, which is actually tomorrow. So if you're in the city and you did not get here, hurry up, take your lunch time. Come on down. She has 
some limited edition prints. She has no cars. This young lady is phenomenal. She's from a very large family. She's one of 13 siblings. Yes, she, that's her right there. Her mom, her dad, and her 12 siblings. The story is phenomenal. All of this work is hers. And as I said, I have encouraged her to become an entrepreneur. So she made note cards of her work. This one sold out. There's only one card left in this. Oh, I didn't say it. She sold the painting, an original painting, right here at the opening reception. She sold a painting. Yeah, she sold that painting. We need to support young people who are striving to reach for the stars. It's another for image, note cards available. And guess what? The note cards only cost. That's all her note cards cost with an envelope. Then we have her larger prints. And they're here at the gallery. They have been here for the months. I am waiting on people to come over. Between now and tomorrow, I encourage you to come over to Lafayette Gallery, 227 North Marcus Street, to support this young artist, this emerging artist entrepreneur with these phenomenal, these stunning works of art. Yeah, some, uh, she wants, I encourage her not to sell the originals right now. Hold on to your originals, I told her. See, I am not making her make the mistakes. And I told her, don't sell them for cheap either. People think art should not be cheap. Art is more than beauty. Art is wealth. Right there. I teach a class on that. Why buy art? Answer, art is wealth. Art appreciates you should appreciate art. Art never depreciates. It's more than real estate. This is, it cannot depreciate. So, it is the end, almost the end of Women's History Month. And the gallery will have a new exhibition for the spring. And that is called Jazz into Spring. That's my theme for the month of April, and the opening reception is on the first Friday, the first of the month, rather. And also, I did send out invitations. I'm going to repost the, day, the, the date to RSVP. I, I cater for these events, guys. I cater. And if I'm catering, I need to know my numbers. So let's jazz into spring with jazz art. I have a whole wall. These are now my works. All of this is my work here. As far as your eyes can see, jazz. And for Women's History Month, this is my section. Showcasing America's first female black vice president, Kamala Harris. Showcasing the black trailblazers of the suffrage movement, those six women who helped to get black women the right to vote. That's a stylish piece here called elegance. That the women's vote and women out there, this is a midterm election. You have the power. We have the power of the vote. Let's leverage that power to right the wrongs and those who are denigrating or nominee for the Supreme Court, let's send them a message with our vote right there. Women balance in the world. That's the original painting. And my two most famous pieces, the melting pot versus the salad bowl, diversity. It is so much for you to see, guys. It is amazing. And the, these are going to be going back in storage. Art should not be in storage. Shouldn't be. I have to take these pieces down now to make way for my new exhibition. You should be coming in to hawk these up.
to invest because art is wealth. It is more than beauty on the wall. First you buy it because you love it. Beyond the love, it is wealth. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video. If you want to come to the gallery and you want to call me to make an appointment, I can even open on Sunday for you. That's correct. I could even open up on a Sunday evening for you. Call me at 302-656-6786. The gallery will be open tomorrow. I probably should extend the day since we are taking down an exhibition. I may open up to 6 o'clock from 11 to 6 to give you time to come in to support this young. She's going to take her work down. And they, again, they're going to be put in stores. That is a shame. If I were, if, if this gallery were in Philadelphia, and I'm going to say it, if this were in Philadelphia, New York, in Baltimore, Washington, these pieces would be gone. Um, there is something lacking in our city here why we don't get the support of, uh, and it's not a money issue. It's not a money issue. If you come to this gallery, my prices begin at $5. You can buy a pack of note card. Let me show you here. It's not money. It has nothing to do with money. Oh, let's see. Okay, so here it says there, assorted note card, a pack of four cards. And that's, that's all it costs. A single card, that's all the single card costs. So it's not a money issue. Look at the famous I Rise by Maya Angelou. That the, all this pack has cards in it. Women, I have different themes, jazz. It's right here. Please support artists, support women artists. And let me go outside. Oh, I have a stunning, a stunning image in the, look at that. Look at that, it is a tote bag. It is dancing trio. And the t-shirt that goes with it, there's a lot of glare. And look, you could get a collage of my work, three pieces in a frame. Three pieces. See? So, as I'm saying, I encourage you to come on down. And, yes, come on down. Come on down to 207 North Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware. We call, we call this place the Soho, the Soho of Wilmington, Delaware. It's the Loma District. Come on down. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video.